Welcome to another Coding Like Mad MATLAB tutorial. In today's tutorial, we will be going over logical indexing in MATLAB. This is a trick I use all the time as a professional MATLAB coder. It makes my code faster to run and faster to write. We do new videos on coding and data science every week or two, so if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to the channel or leaving a comment or question below. So what exactly is logical indexing? Well, in short, it's when you want to access array index values based on a Boolean rule instead of based on an address. In other languages, you need to always apply the rules element by element, but in MATLAB, you just tell it what the entries you want to manipulate or collect look like, and it does the rest for you. Let's start by making a random 5x5 data matrix, as I show here. If I make a Boolean expression for data greater than 0 0.5, you can see we get a 5x5 array out as well. So now, here's the cool part about logical indexing. We can make modifications to just the locations that were true in that Boolean map. For example, we might like to set any outlier data high to, say, 0, as shown here. Another common use case is filtering not a number values from data. If I generate some data with not a number values or none values in it, these values will corrupt all future calculations unless I remove them. A trick logical indexing lets us do really easily. As shown here, we can select just the data entries that are non none values. So for example, we can make a mean calculation which only uses the good values. This is a really useful trick with real data which is often corrupted with empty or not a number values. In the next use case, we're going to use logical indexing to select rows of data. In the last example, we were treating all of the data points as if they were equal. Uh, you don't really care which pixel is which when you're going to apply a rule for filtering out uh, bad data, but you do care with data arrays where each column might have a different meaning. So how do we preserve this data structure? Let's again generate some random data as shown here. Next, let's imagine we wanted to filter out rows of data which have a sum above a threshold. You could make any other Boolean rule you wanted. The important thing is that there's a true or false for every row. We can then make a new array with logical indexing applied to just one dimension, either the row or the column. Here, we're going to select rows that obey our logical condition, but keep all the columns. My general advice is that if you ever want to apply a rule to both columns and rows, apply it to columns and then rows, or rows and then columns. Don't do it at the same time because the syntax will break. In this video, we've looked at three different uses for logical indexing. Filtering data, removing not a number values, and selecting rows from a data array. If you like this video, please sub consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video, or in either case, a comment is appreciated, especially if you have suggestions for future videos or things we can do better. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.